Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. I have over 10 years experience of computational biology and today I'm going to share with you some of the bioinformatics CV tips. So many people message me asking for uh, how, uh, tips on how to build their bioinform bioinformatics portfolio. So when they're looking for jobs especially. And uh, we know it's a very uh, competitive uh, market when you uh, apply for bioinformatics jobs and maybe the hiring manager uh, receive hundreds of CVs. How do you stand out uh, in all those CVs? So I'm going to give you some tips today. Okay. So first of all, you need to have a GitHub link in your CV. So that's usually is the first thing I check in a CV when I screen all the candidates. So if you don't have a GitHub link in your CV, you may not even enter into the next round of the interv uh, interview round. So you do not only have a, like, a GitHub link, but you should have a little bit of content uh, in your GitHub uh, repository. Put your code there. So you can either uh, write a Python or R package, or you can put a data analysis project or, uh, from your uh, lab uh, or from for example, from your PhD program, uh, or you want to put the course project there. So if you are not allowed to put the course project in GitHub, you can even replicate some of the figures from a paper, right? So read some of those uh, published genomics papers. Uh, it could be like different, uh, it could be different data types like whole exon sequencing, RNA sequencing, make sure you can replicate some of the figures in the, uh, in the paper. So if you really don't know where to start, you can check this figure one lab GitHub repository by my friend Dean Lee. So in this repository, he has compiled several uh, data sets, uh, single cell, uh, specifically single cell RNA sequencing data. And uh, then you want to actually uh, replicate some of the, uh, some of the figures uh, from the publications that publish those uh, data sets. So a little bit more on GitHub. So you want to commit regularly to it, So which means you uh, write code uh, off often and then you send the code to GitHub. So if I go to your GitHub and I see uh, you commit very sparsely uh, or you just commit like, um, specifically just on a specific day, just maybe you just uh, put it up for uh, for your job application, and that will uh, not look good. Look, look good. Uh, a good uh, GitHub profile takes time to build, so I always start early, start now. So the best time to start the project was ten years ago. The second best time is right now. I always uh, uh, say this. So not only you put the code there, but also make sure your projects are organized well and documented well. Uh, for example, for uh, different projects, you should have consistent uh, fold structures. So you have data folder containing your raw data, scripts folder to containing the scripts, and results folder containing the intermediate tables or figures generated from the scripts. Right, And I really uh, emphasize documentation because if you only have bare bone code there, uh, it's not that helpful and it's very bad for the reproducibility. Also, if you wrote, document it well, uh, in a couple of years, when you go back to the same project, you can still pick it up, pick it up because you have documented well and you understand what that code is for. So next tip is to make a personal website. So if people cannot find you online nowadays, you do not exist. So I always suggest people, uh, more junior people to make a personal website. It can be just a uh, weekend project. Spend the time and make a website for yourself. The reason is that you can put actually many things in your website that are not in the CV. For example, you have given some talks, 
Maybe you have some posters, and typically I don't put them in my CV, but you can put them all in、uh, your website. And also, lastly, you can write blog posts on your websites. Right? It's much better to show your computational skills in a blog post than just saying I'm good at R or Python in your CV. Right? And you and that also shows your、uh, problem solving、uh, capability because usually when I write a blog post,、uh, I Uh, I usually have、uh, encountered a problem, and I just showcase how I solve them. Right.、Uh, similar to a GitHub profile, it takes time to build、uh, nice websites. So I have been writing blog posts for over ten years. So you, you, know, you can go to diving into genetics and genomics dot com to look at my blog post. So if you use R, you can use、uh, this R package called Block Block Down. To to make a really nice、uh, looking GitHub website, and also with that you can actually write R or Python code in an R markdown file. It will be rendered into HTML file, so it's a very nice tool. So I highly recommend. Okay, that's it for today.、Uh, click subscribe if you like this content. Thank you. Happy learning. I will see you next time.